Hey, hello there, Cancer. Welcome to your monthly reading for August 2018. This is a general predictive card reading. More extensive readings can be booked by clicking on a link below. Your every comment earns you an entry to win a free reading. Hit that notification bell, then you'll be notified for when you win. Remember to check out your past video predictions. They will resonate more clearly when the week has arrived. Okay, Cancer, I have blessed shuffled and meditated over this reading just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere of the month. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background. The Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is bringing in air energy. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Could be a young person. Could be just the energy. This stands for vigilance and news could be about truth and justice. There will be conflicts that clear out. You're feeling nervousness and anxiety. Could be some spying. There may be news of difficulties. You need to analyze and use strategy to confront someone. Someone is behaving in a risky manner. This could be the overconfidence or ignorance of youth and that can cause strife. There may be rumors, gossip, and maybe a deceitful person around you. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. It's the immediate future. The Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles stands for struggling together. It's sharing hardships. It could be unemployment, some kind of financial loss. Maybe you're feeling left out in the cold. You have doubts, and it is okay to ask for help. These hardships, they're going to pass away, and you're not alone. You're feeling crippled by circumstances, which are temporary. Could be an injury or ill health. You're struggling and complaining, but you are rebuilding your self-worth, and support is available. All you have to do is ask. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. Number one of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Magician. Number one, the Magician. This affects you in a major way. This is using your will and your creative power. It's your personal power. It's embarking on a new way of life. It's a flash of inspiration you need to meet, remain conscious of your thoughts because you can make things happen in your life. As above, so below. As within, so without. Use focus, vision, and decision in action, in creation. Then there's beginning. You use your emotion and your thoughts and your physical tools to manifest and create. This is your skill in action there's new opportunities, and it is a time for action. So work to achieve your goals. You can make things happen in your life because you have the tools and the skills needed. This card is ruled by the planet Mercury. Your fourth card, it's the future, the outcome, the results, the advice. The Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, Cancer. It looks like you need to use evasive tactics. This is discretion and discrimination. And diplomacy, these things are required to gain the upper hand over a tricky situation. You'll need to research and use skillful preparation. Study the competition. Use caution in your dealings because there's in indirect communication going on. You'll need to use your wit, gather information. Try to be wary of overconfidence. Take measures not to lose something. This has to do with your mental preparedness. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. It's what's unseen. Number 18, the moon. A major arcana in the Rider Waite deck. 
the moon. You have some insecurities and anxiety. This has to do with intuition, imagination, and deception. You need to pay attention to your dreams. You have some fears and anxieties. There may be hidden enemies. You could have psychic talent, but you're feeling insecure. You're unable to see how your actions are going to affect your future. Success will come. You just have to endure those insecurities. You are on the correct path. Pay attention to dreams and hunches. You may feel moody, and there's some emotional tests. This is a zodiac sign card for Pisces. Thank you so much, Cancer, for your likes and your subscribes and your comments. Bless you. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so keep it positive. Love and light.